hi everyone welcome back to another video so in today's video i'm going to talk about what is robot.txt why is robot.txt important and how to create robot.txt file and different types of robot.txt comments so if you are new here please consider subscribing let's get started all right we are back on our computer screen now let's just talk about what is robot.txt robot.txt which is also known as robot exclusion protocol or robot exclusion standard is a standard that every website uses to communicate with the search engines and uh, instruct the search engines as to what uh, pages they can crawl and what pages to avoid in other words it's just a simple file that you you know place it on your website's root folder that tells the Google bot and uh, in a different type of search engines what pages to crawl and what pages not to crawl. I hope you understood. Now let me show you how you can check the robot.txt of any website. Just go to any website. I will go to Google. Just enter the website forward slash robots.txt and hit enter. This will show you the robots.txt file of this website. So as you can see, we have all these commands and this is Google's robot.txt. So you will have this commands and everything on robots.txt. So this is a way of uh, telling the search engine bots which pages to crawl and which pages to avoid. So this is how it works. So let me check this for my website tipswithalam.com slash robots.txt I think I have one I'm not sure <laughs> yeah here it is I have this uh, robots.txt here and as you can see I have disallowed this WP admin page because this is the backend page my admin panel that, that I don't want Google to index now let's talk about why is robots.txt important having robots.txt on your website will help you boost your SEO number one and number two is it avoids scrolling of your unimportant websites. For example, you have so many thank you pages, you have contact page, you have privacy policy and disclaimer pages that you don't want Google to index. Why? Because Google has something called crawl budget, which means uh, that uh, it will only crawl your website for a certain limit. Because uh, if the budget is over, you have to wait until the Google comes to your website next time and crawl the website once again. So this is how the search engine and the SEO works. It also helps you to reduce the overload on your server because every time a web search board comes to your website, it sends a request to your web server. So to crawl this page. It will you know overload your server with so many requests so that will slow down your website so that is very important now let me show you how you can create a robot.txt so to create a robots.txt file you don't have to break your head just create a text document i will create a text document so this is our text document as you can see it has nothing and right click and rename this to robots.txt that's it we have the robots.txt file here and uh, this is how you create a robots.txt file uh, please note we are not done with the commands and the instructions this is uh, one way how you can create it because there are so many plugins available out there that uh, you know create this file automatically but if you want to create it manually and upload it in your root folder this is how you do it now let me walk you through the different commands uh, inside robots.txt as we have seen on the different website like uh, on Google's robot.txt, it starts with user agent uh, asterisk. So this is how it looks like because the robots.txt is same for every website. So let's do it for our website. Just open this text file and start writing this command. Start with user agent, user hyphen agent colon and if you want to give this instruction for a specific uh, board like Google board, you can mention Google board. If you want to give it to Bing, Bing board, you can go it to Bing board or MSN. But if you put a asterisk, it means that you are giving this instruction for all the boards that is Google, MSN, Yahoo and everything. And the next command is this allow. 
just write this allow and uh, colon if you save this file and uh, put it inside your root directory this will give the instruction to your web crawlers to crawl all the website why because we don't have anything uh, next to the disallow so if you want to disallow or avoid a page from being crawled just uh, enter a forward slash and enter the name of the page in my case i will enter contact us that's it and uh, just continue doing this for all the pages that you want to disallow and save this file and place this file inside the root directory that is public underscore html okay we are not done yet because there are two more comments that you need to be aware of one is no index and uh, no follow i will show you the no follow later when because we are not gonna implement it in the in, in the robots.txt file but uh, no index is very important because sometimes even after giving this allow comment google will still crawl and index your web page so to avoid that just enter no index and forward slash enter the name of the page and that's it do this for all the pages that uh, you want to uh, disallow and uh, make sure to save this file and now let me show you how you can place it in the root directory so to do that you have to open your web hosting account i will open my web hosting account all right we are inside our web hosting account just go to cpanel and on the cpanel select file manager or ftp mm -hmm. This will open a new window so this is where all your website files are stored as you can see we have all these files and uh, we also have the robots.txt here if you want you can edit the file here all you have to do is just click on upload and select the file from your desktop and click and click on open I'm not gonna do that because I already have a robots.txt so this is how it works you just have to log into your web hosting go to cpanel and select file manager and in the file manager select public underscore html and place it right inside the public dot uh, public underscore html so this is how you do it and one more thing along with the uh, commands you can also insert your sitemap here and write sitemaps colon and your sitemap address and I will put my address sitemap dot xml so this is not really important but if you do it it's good because uh, Google is doing it and many top websites are doing it let me show you Google uh, if you scroll down you will see that Google is also giving sitemap here so the procedure is same so that's about it in the next video I'm gonna show you what is a sitemap and how to create a sitemap if you want more videos on cpanel and wordpress and SEO you can check out my channel and if you found this video helpful don't forget to give a like and subscribe thank you so much for watching Take care. Bye-bye.